religion in question, you know, and, uh, and, and it's a big problem. And thirdly, uh, religions, uh, you know, I've never focused on trying to help people to reach the transcendent state. That was not their focus. Uh, you know, uh, throughout history, uh, religions have evolved as uh, structures, you know, power structures, and they. Um, he never really cares about this, uh, this uh, aspect of it. So the, what, what they wanted, the, you know, the, the followers to believe is that uh, these, these people at the origin of the, uh, the religion, they had special powers, so they were special, they were different. And uh, uh, the other people, the followers, could not have the, the same types of experience, could not reach uh, these uh, experiences. And this is why throughout history, those people who, who have experienced uh, mystical states, <clears throat> very often they've encountered a uh, major problem with their organized religion. You know, they've, uh, some, of, some of them have been burnt, and uh, oh, yes. it was dangerous for them, because the, <clears throat> for instance, if you take the example of Christianity, some some people, some mystics throughout history have claimed that uh, they were one with the source of faith, with God. Like, for instance, uh, Meister Hecat in Germany during uh, the Middle Age. And uh, so he, he's been, uh, you know, under fire for saying this publicly and his life was accepted. And uh, it's been the case also of other mystics uh, throughout history. Um, so there, there's a big difference between uh, mysticism versus organized uh, religion. Well, in uh, chapter eight of your your book, Brain Wars, uh, the uh, one entitled "Embracing a Greater Self," but then you have the example here of uh, the German shoemaker Jacob Brunner in uh, 1600. You have uh, 1969 American astronaut Rusty Schweiger. You have um, and a 76 Alan Smith. He was a uh, self-identified atheist, materialistic scientist, and uh, and, and he left that. Uh, it's yeah, kind of funny. He, he left what he, what he was doing and, and went on to pursue uh, all those Until issues. Until it's not. Consciousness, spirituality and mysticism and so forth. Yeah. Can you program your brain? Can, can, you, can you bring on a mystic experience without a that just come to you or can you contrive one? Well, you, you have, uh, you know, you have some uh, mystical path that exists. You, know, you, you represent the esoteric tide of uh, the great spiritual traditions of the world. You, you have that for every major religion. In Christianity, uh, in Islam, in Islam it's called Sufism. Uh, and you have that for you know, all the major religions. And so uh, the mystics throughout history have offered advice and techniques to try to reach uh, such states. Uh, <clears throat> but in some cases, uh, these states will happen, or these experiences, these mystical experiences, will happen uh, apparently without any reason to some people. Uh, and uh, it's not understand, it's not uh, understood very well yet uh, why such things happen. But um, uh, we know, uh, based on a few studies, that. There are some common triggers, you know, uh, regarding these... Uh, Let them go ask the God particle why things happen. And, uh, Let them go ask Boson Higgs. What did he say before he was talking? Uh, depression and despair. Whoa, the reductionism, uh, this, that. Uh, meditation and prayer. The, the God element, or oh, the God spot. I think they have the God spot in the brain now. Code breaker, 911. Why do you think 911 is such a code? September 11th, Peter Tosh shot a 911, nine, September 11th. But here's the, here's the thing. Call the police, call the police, call the police, call the police, call the police. They want you to call the police and not call God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah.